Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve. I cannot believe that it is almost 2012. We have less than a day and it'll be 2012. Um, I wanted to do my December favorites. I haven't been into makeup all of 2011, so I didn't want to do like a top 10 or 11 or whatever of 2011. So I just decided I'd do my December favorites. I have a couple of favorites, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with skincare first. My first favorite is going to be my uh, Neutrogena Acne Wash that I use. It's the pink grapefruit one. And as you can see, I'm pretty much almost done with this, so I'm definitely going to have to get some more. Um, I started using this a little while ago because I ordered a Neutrogena pack thingy online so I got to try out a whole bunch of Neutrogena stuff and so I really like that that's a really good cleanser I was looking for a new one anyway so I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing some more of that my second skincare one is going to be my Sigma clean and polishing set cleansing and polishing set I think is what it's called um, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas and he knows I love Sigma. That's how it looks like that. And it comes with the, the actual tool. And then it comes with three brushes. This is the soft one. Oh, it's wet. The soft one, I think this is the medium one. And this is the hard one or something like that. I don't know. Um, they come in three different levels. I've just been using the soft one for now since I just started. I just want to see how my skin is going to look. Um, but yeah, that's been, I've been using that for a while now. I like it I like it a lot um next stuff is gonna be skincare and it's gonna be fragrances not skincare fragrances um this one is dark kiss it's two cents from um from Bath and Body Works this is dark kiss and and um I used this at the beginning because I had ran out my Japanese cherry blossom and I didn't think I would like it but it smells so good it smells I'm not good with, I'm not good with scents it smells really sweet though it has a really sweet candy type smell it smells really good and then later on after Christmas I went to Bath and Body Works because they were having sales and by the way they were having sales on the little ones like this for $2.50 so if they're still having that sale you need to go check it out um, I found a scent that I love for the longest I'm a big citrus lover and I think they're discontinuing the scent unfortunately but it's called uh, white citrus I don't know if you can see it it's called white citrus and it smells just like citrus like just citrus in a I don't know it just smells like oranges and all kind of stuff. I have the lotion, but it just it smells like citrus. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, I think they're discontinuing it though, so that makes me really sad. So I got two of these just so I can always have a backup. Okay, and the next stuff I'm going to show you are going to be makeup related. Um, I had kind of a bit of makeup favorites this month because I got a couple of new stuff first thing I got is will be um I got this from a blog sale and it's sleek and it's kind of dirty and it's the sunset palette and it got shipped to me and it was broken unfortunately um not due to the seller because she bubble wrapped it up pretty well but I'm gonna keep the little plastic on because that's what that's what's keeping the two ones that's broken you know not from spilling out but that's the sunset palette uh oh so I'm spilling out but that um that's one of them has pretty oranges and blues and you can use this for every day I love it so let's I'm trying to securely close this back up um, <clears throat> another palette I got and that I love is the Naked palette and you guys seen it all the time I just recently got the Naked palette um, I didn't have 
the Naked Palette when Naked 2 Palette came out. So I got the Naked Palette when all the craze. But the second one is out. And I really don't think I'm going to get the second one. It doesn't appeal to me. Even when I saw comparison swatches and videos between this one and the original, I mean the second one, I still didn't like it as much. Probably because the uh, Naked 2 Palette is more cool toned. And that's just not my skin tone. And I just didn't see any like colors in there that I wanted. And I just didn't see it. So... I love this one. Love it. Um, I use it every day. It is my go-to palette. Like I can just do this and some lip gloss and you know my face or whatever, and I'm gone. So I love this. Um, next thing I've been using a lot is the Sugar Plum Tinted Lip Treatment, and it's by Fresh. And this is the dark, like purple one. I'm almost out of it. I just looked at it and I'm almost out of it. Like, look at that. So sad. Um, I got this along with the lip polishing treatment that Fresh has. Um, this right there, the sugar polish. Um, it came in a set at Sephora. I think they still have it. It's like $22, which is good because this one itself is $22. So, and it has SPF in it and it gives a slight tint. I usually keep this on my makeup desk so um, I can just have something on my lips. I don't necessarily have to have color. And it's dark in, in the tube, but it's not really dark on my lips. It gives like a slight color like that. So it's not really dark on my lips at all. I just use it when I need some moisturizing and I don't want to food with gloss or anything like that this is this is really good for that so yeah um the next couple things I got is from is my foundation um it's the match master I think I did show a haul where I got this um I got this and I also got the studio finish concealer and these have been my go-to things lately. The Match Master keeps my oil at bay very well. It much more than any other foundation I've ever used. It's ridiculous. I am a huge lover of it. I'm going to do a full in-depth review of it and how I use it and put it on and stuff later on. But I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm definitely happy with this. If you're thinking about getting it, definitely go get it. I am a... NW45 normally and I wear a 9.5 so if you are anywhere in my skin tone or anything yeah that's that's the color you would get it's it's awesome if you're an oily girl definitely definitely check out the Match Master foundation okay and I have a brush that I love and this is Elf's I can't think of the name of it the professional blending eye brush it's the name of it and it's just a regular little blending brush like that and it's so soft and I, I use it now for like in my crease right here if I want to color and I want it to blend and put the color right there yeah this is definitely it I was kind of shocked because usually their uh, $1 line brushes aren't very um, good I mean they're okay and I have a couple from them that's in the one dollar line but most of my brushes from them are in the studio three dollar line so I was very surprised to say the least so um yeah definitely check this out if you want something to go in your crease and you want it to blend at the same time check this out because it picks up color and it does blend very well and the last thing I got um you saw this when I reviewed my um Tarte Shining Stars uh, kit or collection. I can't think today. And this is the Tarte Eyes, no, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I told you in that video that I'm actually going to start using this because I like it a lot. I really do. I've been using it all month. Um, ever since I saw that, I've been using it. And I've been following it up just to like spread out my lashes. I've been following up with my mascara I usually use which is the um, Smashbox Hyper Lash Mascara and so that's usually what I use I have a backup of this one because I love it and I loved it until I tried this so I use this first and then just to, like give volume and stuff and then to like spread it out and give length I follow it with the Hyper Lash 
and that's usually what I do for mascara but if I don't have time I just throw on the tart one because it keeps my lashes curled it darkens them up it makes them look fuller and bigger and I am a sold believer I didn't like it when I first got it it was just another mascara but I'm definitely a believer now so that's all I have I'm looking around I always have to look around to make sure because my mind will blank and I will forget if I had anything else so I don't see anything else on my desk um, I want to know what you want to see um, me do in 2012 I know I'm new and I don't have many videos um, I haven't done any eye tutorials because um, I have an old computer and um, I can't do the Windows Movie Maker the new one so I can't do that yet so that's the reason I haven't done like a tutorial um, on eye makeup but I may do like a get ready with me type video where I can just speed up what I'm doing while I'm going out or whatever so loud car uh, just let me know what you'd like to see from my channel in 2012 um, if you like to see reviews or hauls or makeup tutorials or you know whatever natural hair um, like videos and stuff like that just let me know um, so yeah just leave me a comment and if you have any December favorites leave a video response down in the uh, description in the video response box and I definitely look at it I love these types of videos so that's it um happy new year I hope y'all are safe tonight and I will talk to you later bye